Hey Virgo, welcome back guys. So let's do a quick energy check-in. Let's see what is going on between you and the person that is on your mind, the person that you are in separation with. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give my Virgo clear and concise messages. We're going to see what is the overall energy in this relationship, their feelings towards you, the reason for this separation, their next moves, and the outcome. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall energy in this connection here between my Virgo and the person that is on their mind, please? Overall energy between you and this person. I feel that somebody here wants to step up to the plate, plate, plate. If not you or them or both of you guys want to have a conversation here. You got the page of pentacles here. Somebody is wanting to extend an olive branch. Someone is going to get ready to send the message here because they're tired of the separation. They do want to move towards calmer waters here. They want to move towards a victorious energy with you. Yes, in the past, there was a lot of shit show and shenanigans. Somebody failed to make, make a, a decision here in, the, in a relationship that could have ultimately had this Ten of Pentacles energy here. Someone decided to act reckless, emotionally manipulating, and possibly decided to start talking to someone new here. Okay, Where there, cause there was definitely a, um, a false new beginning in that, in that page, with that page of um, swords energy here. But there is something about this person wanting to come towards you and have a conversation. I feel both of you guys are in that same place. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What are their feelings towards my Virgo at the moment? What is this person, the person that is on their mind, truly feeling towards my Virgo at the moment, Universe? You got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And you got the full moon in the reverse. So this person is afraid. They are worried that you're not going to accept the Ace of Pentacles here that they want to offer you. Okay. With the Eight of Pentacles, this person is wanting to work on this connection again. But because they caused you so much pain, so much heartache, and so much um, confusion, and there was a lot of deception, they feel like you're going to end up slamming the door in their face. They're afraid to move towards you. Okay. Because of your reaction. What caused the separation here, universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians? What caused the separation between Virgo and the person that's on their mind? There was a seven of swords energy. So somebody here could have very well betrayed the other person's trust. If it didn't happen, it may, you made it seem like you betrayed them or they made it seem like they betrayed you. Okay. You got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, so this person took a long time to come towards the connection and offer something here. You got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. There could have been third-party situations. And you know what, guys? Keep in mind, third parties are not always sexual connections. They can definitely be friends, family members, even their job interfering in your connection. For some of you guys, it was their job. They worked a lot. They paid way too much attention to their, to their commitment to, the, to their employer than their commitment to you. And with this King of Wands energy, like I said, there could have been a third-party situation here. That caused this person to walk away. But they had to deal with something on their very own here. What are their next moves to this connection? They plan to come towards you with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, which is your person right now who feels like everything is it doesn't have any stability for them. They plan to come towards you passionately and have a conversation with you. You and this person, this is a divine counterpart here. You both have a lot of passion for each other. You both complement each other on so many different ways and levels. I feel that you both are equally successful, equally good looking. Um, You both want exactly the same things in life, but for whatever apparent reason, there were people interfering in your connection. Their next move towards you is to heal this connection. And they're hoping and praying that you let your guard down and you allow them to come in and bring this connection back in from out of the cold, okay? You are dealing with somebody who can be a little bit nervous in regards to this situation, but I feel that they're going to ultimately end up taking that leap of faith towards you. What is the outcome in the relationship here with Virgo and the person that's on their mind universe? The Ten of Swords energy. So there is an ending to a painful situation here. There is an ending to a painful battle between you and this person. Yes, where there was a lot of heartache, where there was a lot of instability, like I said, interference, possibly a third party. I feel that that's come to an end. 
Okay, with the Eight of Wands energy here, this person wants to have a conversation with you. They want to clear the air, okay? Nine of Wands energy, they're hoping and praying that you haven't given up on this connection, that you allow them another opportunity. With the Queen of Cups energy here, they want to open up emotionally and come towards you because this person does not want to miss an opportunity with you, okay? Alrighty, Virgo, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to, to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.